What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane. This is our first game of the new Split Boys. I'm very, very excited. They did just do a five-man invade here. So that's why you saw me kind of running away. I luckily did not die. But yeah, we're up against Atalia. This guy is actually a Talon main. But he's playing Talia. He Like at the end of the last split, he was playing a lot of Talia. So we'll see how this goes. Should be a decent matchup for us post-level 6. But pre-6, I think Talia has a little bit of an advantage. And honestly, with the rework with Talia's... Uh, I think it's her E. Though you'll see it. it. Basically, she's like an anti-dash, anti-leap like leap champion. Which is what we are. So, we definitely will play a little bit outside of that. I don't want to look to E. I'm just going to let her hard shove us in. Just in case if Chaco wants to do some early cheesing for us in our favor. Definitely don't want to be taking too much poke here. I am going to try the new Blackfire uh, Torch item. We're going to miss some of these. Probably all of these, honestly, because she's going to pressure us in here. Might be able to look for a little bit of a electric trade onto her. Dodge that her big dash. She's got phase rush, so she is fast. She's going to hit level 2, I think, before us, unfortunately. Actually, might hit it before her. I'm going to pressure her off if I can. All right, not bad. Like I said, I don't really mind her pushing us in because she will set herself up for a shackle gank, but this shackle pathing is a little weird. He started blue buff. Usually the shackles will always start red and look for like the level 2 clear. Alright, botling might be getting doubled here. Hopefully not. She's level 3. I think once we get our level 3, we can look to trade with her a little bit more. Until then, we're just going to be kind of Soaking up some farm. Well, uh, Tristana didn't die, so that's good. Shaco with the full clear. Hmm. Seems a little weird to me. He's going to look to flick me when I go on to this cannon. Oh, that is such a good trade by her. What kind of sucks is she has um, DP, so... She's just going to be able to TP back in off of a really nice buy. I was really hoping we'd get an uh, early gank from the Shaco. He's about to clear his red buff, so maybe we still can. But yeah, missing that cannon sucks. I really want Chaco to come look for this, because I think we could kill her for sure with this much as she's pushing up. Brother, we can kill. That sucks. He's playing. He doesn't want to look for her, which is really weird. She has, like, no mana. And she pushes up so hard. Look at this. She's very killable here. The Zen's coming right here, though. Tackle actually got that scuttle taken. I can't even do anything. This guy's right here. The uh, the Zen is, for sure. Might be able to get her flash. She didn't even flash. Oh, my God. I outplayed myself. I would have killed her if I just didn't flash. I thought for sure she was going to flash. Oh, boys. That is... Where's Dark Seal? That is so tragic, man. It's all good. We'll come back from it. I mean, she's going to be very far ahead of us off of that. But, yeah. Camille's getting nice and fed up there. The worst thing about this whole thing is this wave. I should have not flashed. If I wouldn't have flashed, I would have killed her. I thought for sure she would flash. We're running the new uh, ability haste rune. Very unlucky for me, though. If we didn't get hit by that, we would have been actually in a pretty good spot. Or uh, if we didn't die there. I wonder if I can look for a roam down here with Shaco. Probably not. I don't think it's worth it. I'd miss a whole nother wave here. Talia definitely is an annoying champ to play against, especially when she's ahead like this. I think we just got to kind of seed lane to her here and try to get uh, our level 6, play around that. Oh, this is AP Shaco. That's why he's not ganking early. I do not like that at all. I think AP Shaco is much, much weaker than AD Shaco. And he doesn't have anywhere near as much pressure either. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for us, boys. I just feel like this Zen's going to have so much more pressure. 
I'm just going to have to play very safe, play for the mid game. Because their bot lane's ahead, their jungle's ahead. She's going to try and do the same thing where she uh, flicks me again. Oh, our bot lane is kind of getting beat up there. Dude, that phase rush is really good for her, actually. If she didn't have that phase rush, we would have got a really good trade onto her there. I have my ult. If, like, if Shaco looks for a gank, which I don't think he's going to, that's kind of sad. The wave is in a really bad spot here, too, for me. Just tanking up a lot of damage there, though. She has no ward on this side, so she would be killable if we got a gank, but that's fine. We're getting the Void Grubs, so it's not the worst. Ooh. Although not resetting my W there. Oh, wow. That stunned me. That's kind of crazy. Um, There's the Zen. I have my ult. She's about a full level up on us almost. Uh, he's going to die there. I can't help him. I'm being hard shoved in. Uh, you're going to die, I think. He just goes down there. Might be able to kill her here. Nah, I don't think I kill. He's so tanky. I don't know how she's so tanky. Go one for one with her? Nope, I die. That sucks. Did she kill? I get an assist there. That's really good. Man, I, w I really wish Shaco would look for us here. Let's see, did this get buffed at all? No. We'll go. We'll grab this item first. Good thing is our Camille is going absolutely in, and this wave is pushing into a super hard, so we sh shouldn't really miss too much of it. Maybe a melee or two. But yeah, we gave her another free kill. We just didn't have the damage, even with Ignite. I don't know how she's so tanky, though. Kind of crazy. Like, even through my Ignite and my, like, a long-range ult, too, she still survived. Bit of a shame. Like I said, though, we are not going to tilt, boys. If we ever get a Shackle gank, though, we could definitely kill her, especially with my ult up. But him going this build is pretty cheese. Thank goodness this is, like, Talia's not like an AD champ, right? Who can just build, like, a wit's end or something. She's just perma-shoving, too. Like, imagine if this guy ganked for us, bro. Hmm. Our Shackle, unfortunately, is really not looking for anything. He's just power clearing. They won't catch me. I am taking the end of a beating here. Um, can we come to this? I think we might be able to go for this. I'm going for the Zen. And then we'll go for this guy. As long as Shackle doesn't die here. Yeah, we're good. might kill this guy, but uh, I have to let the homegirl do the most of the damage there. Alright, I gotta reset. It kinda sucks, because I'm gonna miss a lot of CS to this Talia, but I have to just reset. Grab this. Not bad, not bad. We picked up a kill, a bunch of assists, five stacks on our Dark Seal. And I don't think Talia got anything there, honestly. We can double E to the link because we have a uh, lost chapter now. Ooh, stop her back. If you stop her back, that's huge. She should have her TP up, though. Stop her back, stop her back. Big, let's go. Love it. Love it when people are, like, annoying like that because usually it's me that's getting, you know, that happened to him. So love that she uh, did that to her. All right, once we get this black fire, we will be scaled up a little bit. But until then, I still don't think we're as strong as the Talia. And it's hard to really... Honestly, I might just defer a reset and grab boots. Because against Talia, who's so fast, especially with a phase rush, kind of need the boots, right? So let me show you the runes, boys. And, of course, this is all, like, experimental. Wow, this Camille's going in. Because we don't... This is my first game. I played a couple games on the PBE, but I don't know what is actually good. I think I rotate down, straight down to this, but I think she's just dead. They're in between our towers. But I think Zen is there, too. 
honestly don't think we can make anything happen there. Yeah, their whole team's here. I need to get a sweeper. We got to give another dragon. He needs to be taking void grubs. Ooh, boys, don't fight. Their whole team's here. It sucks to give double dragons, but they have way more pressure. The Talia is definitely going to be scaling into a whole monster with that Archangel's build. Dude, I don't know why Jacko's not grabbing these void grubs. We're giving dragon for it. I think we just sit right here. Because they're potentially going to come for it. We probably need Camille here. I really don't like this right now. I have to give... I can't even, like... Me ulting here doesn't do anything. Like, even if I flanked him here. They could get Talia ult here. I'm just going to sit here and heal up. They have freaking Alistair back here as well. They have Vision here? Sweep that if you got it, brother. Ooh... Shirok is dead there. Dude, it really sucks. This guy's not going to be able to do too much. Ooh, that ult. If I hit that ult. I think this guy's just dead. Yeah. Brother, what am I going to do? I definitely trolled that fight up. But, yeah, we just wasted so much time. I'm down like 40 CS to this Talia, man. She has three kills. This is our only hope, though. Camille's so fed. We do have six Void Grubs, which is nice. It's going to be very nice for, for pushing power. But they also have a lot of uh, dragons on us. All right, we need 100 more gold, and then we'll have our Blackfire. She is already scaled up. I'm going to ping her because Talia, Zen, all of them rotating could definitely kill her. And she probably has, yeah, a massive shutdown on her. Yeah, I think if... Yeah, I'm not sure. That early lane phase really screwed me with that Talia. Screwed myself. If I wouldn't have flashed, I just honestly predicted she would flash my E. So, a little bit of uh, outplaying myself there. Let's grab that. Let's grab a sweeper, too. We really need to have a sweeper. To deny vision. Talia is very far ahead of us, and she definitely outscales us as well. So, a little, little terrifying. But, uh... I think if I just don't int anymore, stack up my Dark Seal, play around good fights, Talia is definitely going to come down there. Hopefully she doesn't get anything. Maybe the Camille's so strong that ooh, Talia didn't roam. Wow. I have ult. Like, we can definitely kill her. I'm going to come throw my control ward down right here. Nice. That's so good. I'm not going to take her ward out because she's just going to contest me with it, with her Qs. Nice, I dodge everything there. This lands, we potentially can kill. Oh, that's not my teammate. I am griefing that, boys. I thought that was my Alistair. I really want to look for her here. But she's tanky and she has that... Uh... I don't know what Camille's doing here. I think we kill this guy, though. Nice. Big kill right here. I'm going to flash onto her. We got the Seraphs. Unfortunately, that's pretty sad. Um, I don't think we have the damage here. Yeah, that's a big shutdown to him, too. Boys. Um, big shutdown to that guy. Pretty scary. Because that's on a gin. If I was closer, I could have followed that up. Oh, this guy trying. He might die here. Because of that. Yeah, I think he goes down. Oh, he does, man. Oh, that's so sad. I have to E. He might even kill me still. He's looking for it. Tristana is working that bot lane a little bit. I might be able to bait this guy. Probably not. I think I just die. Oh, I went right into him. Camille has to go. I can't lead the charge here. That lands. Nice. Big kill. I don't think we can go. I don't think we can do more, but big kill. Big kill. Talia's bot lane. I 
feel like Tristana just needs to reset, probably. All right, let's get a reset in ourselves here. Triss got a lot of farm down there. Solo XP, too. We really need to contest these dragons, man. We cannot give them three drakes in a roll. I think I want to go in boots, because we are going to start getting... Um, Honestly, we want to kind of go Giga Chad here, too, with Lich Bane second item. We really need Camille here. We have to contest these Drakes, man. Especially with this guy being so weak. Yes, we need it. She's going to just split, though. That sucks. She's so strong. If she came with us, like, this dragon would be so free for us. They have a control ward on it. Take that out, brother. Oh, I didn't have ult. I even tried using it. What is this here? Can we kill this guy? No, we can't. We need this chick to come here with us. I don't think we can contest that. Take that ward out. We need her to come here. Like, we absolutely need her to help us. Draw it out. Drag it out. Drag it out. Drag it out. Bro, drag it out. This guy's such a griefer, man. He needs to drag this thing. Camille is not with us. Oh. He's going to steal that. Oh my goodness, bro. And we don't even kill him either. So sad. Might be able to kill this guy, though. Oh. Camille griefed us for sure there. She's so strong, 9-1, and one, and decides to not group up around our, like, them getting a soul point there. For a 2-8 and eight gangplank. Very, very troll. Now, they, if they get one more dragon, or one more dragon, it should just be GG for them. Like, this is an insane dragon soul. I'm going to spam ping her a little bit. That was 100% Omega Shinron grief by her. I mean, this, this guy has smite up, too, and missed his smite. And he's a level up on on the uh, the Zen. So kind of crazy to me that he didn't get that smite. Doesn't make any sense being this strong if you don't use your lead. I.e. like helping your team get objectives and stuff, right? Definitely feels very bad that... Camille didn't help us there. 10 sacked on the Dark Seal, though. We could potentially do something right here. Nice, get his ult there. If our team would come, like, help us here. They're literally just watch, like, doing the dragon here. Oh. That is so incredibly grief, man. Yeah, that sucks. She didn't have her TP up, and our Chaco is just not not playing for the team at all. AP Chaco, man. I just think it's completely troll. Maybe I should have went freaking um, Zonya second, boys. I mean, this is ultimate bravery, bravery build here. This guy is so troll, bro. Yeah, I don't know, man. I do not know. This Talia is so strong, man. This guy is so weak, but I don't even think it's worth like going for him here. We can get a slow on him. It's a pretty good slow. I'll flash for this guy. Yeah. Just for the stacks on my... Uh, Oh, I didn't even get the kill. Oh, I did. Why did I only get 150 gold? Did they kill Talia? They did. That's good. That is very good. I mean, they have another dragon in two minutes, though. They are very strong. This guy and the Talia. Our Shaco is hard out farming the Zen and out leveling him, but I do not have faith that this guy will win a smite battle. He didn't win it last time. 
Oh no, I missed the cannon, bro. Um, do I have Lich Bane? I still need a lot of gold, man. Ah, they get it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I can do here. Ooh, right here, right here, right here. Camille, Camille, come, come, come. Oh, my goodness, bro. Camille is not paying attention there. He's going top to kill the gangplank. Ooh, this is bad. That guy is worth like 100 gold, man. Boys, don't go, don't go. We can't. I have no ult. She's got to be careful. They're all going to be coming. We have a dragon in 52. So if she goes down, need to be contesting these. I don't have chat on her. I would just type like, dude, we need to contest this next dragon. Don't die, Raka. I think that's going to be a free Drake for them here. I don't have ult, so I can't, like, ult to save her. Let's just run. Our only hope is Camille can just apply pressure here. Dude, what? Is he going AP Alistair? He is. What is this? AP Alley. We have to contest this dragon. Like, we have to get it. I'm gonna blast this, yeah. We need this dragon so bad. If we lose this dragon, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. I'm actually just gonna come over here and zone. No, just get the Drake. Don't you freak. Oh my God, bro, use your guy is so bad, man. Shut down. So bad. Your has been destroyed. You have slain an enemy. Dude, I have never seen someone as terrible as this Shaco. Like, this man is level... T <sighs> so frustrating. We lost... This guy... The Zen has stolen two dragons from this guy. I want to spam ping him. I can't even spam ping him, bro. I don't know. It might be a split push angle here, boys. Talia just got a massive shutdown on that other, uh, on our Camille as well. Man, what a useless jungler, bro. It's so sad. They have disgusting dragons, too. They get damage reduction and increased damage, too, when they're below 50% HP. So it's, it's just so insane. It's such a good dragon soul, and we gave it to them for free. Bro, that gangplank is not worth it. Going up there for him, bro. Especially if this guy dies to him. Imagine. Dude, he dies to him, bro. What a player. Yeah, Camille, you can come, bro. But, I mean, we just lose the Baron here off of that. Pretty sure we just lose Baron. We can't even contest it either. This guy's dead. He's had, I was gonna say, he has, he's full AP, so. And we're getting good pressure from Camille, and I don't think they can do Baron. Ooh, right here. I think we can kill this guy. He has to get up in there, nice. That's huge. Nah, you're bad, bro. I don't trust you at all. I'm gonna hit this so they can't use it themselves. Ooh, let me get some. Camille, brother, don't die. I'm gonna come and try to help her, but I think she just toast. Can I get him? Yes, I get him. That's such a big kill. That is such a massive kill there. Good play by the... This Camille's hard carrying. The Shackle's trying to gift them the game, and Camille's trying her best, man, to win the game. All right, I, man, I'm so close to my zon or my Seekers, but I just don't have it yet. I need it, but I think this is the play here. Just get that raw damage. I don't even want to go for the Elder, because this guy's just going to steal it. 
Blackfire Torch hasn't done too much damage, man. I don't know if this is going to be the play. Ludens still might be the play, boys. Ludens still might be the play. We'll see. I really don't like pressuring just as us because they're stronger than us. Even with Camille pressuring that bot lane, they can just, like, force a fight on us. This Alistair going full AP is, like, our one saving grace, man. Do they have any vision? They do not. We can't even really siege. This guy should be dead here. Huge plays. Look for a fish onto anyone. I was hoping they would try to go in on me off of that, uh, that root. We really need to be applying pressure while Camille's got all that pressure bot lane. I'm gonna get his flash. That's good. That's huge, though. His flash for me is big. We need to just get this power. I ignited that guy, but I think I'm just still dead. If Camille's alive, we have a chance. Camille is alive. So we do have a chance. We just need to get this. We get that in bail. I don't think we can end. We need to go up here, I think. We have Elder in like just a little bit, boys. Bail. I mean, we're just waiting to die here if we uh, keep pressuring this. Elder's up in a minute, so if they die, we're just screwed. I don't know why they're even fighting that. Soraka's not with them. Unstoppable. We get a kill on the GP, which is, like, useless. This guy is not good. He's, like, very... Un well, I mean, if they're killing everyone, that's worth... I, we might even... Okay, I eat my words, boys. Quadra kill. Hey, 3v5, they just did that. I'm just going for the towers, boys. We're here for that LP. Honestly, with as bad as this early game went, boys, I am not mad at this at all. It was a very nice early uh, first game, rather. Nope, nope, that kills. Let's go, boys. There it is. It is mid versus uh, damn near god Talia. Take it that direction after this. All right, boys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Talia mid. Yeah, this was a pretty good game. Like, it, it definitely sucked for me early. I outplayed myself level one or, like, in that level three fight. I basically, like, I chunked out the Talia, ignited her all under. I was on my E, and she, I, funny enough, she was just going to accept her death. But I flashed trying to predict her flash, and I ended up outplaying myself, and she survives. Ends up killing me. And then I almost killed her again under the tower, but she survived with one freaking HP again and managed to go like 2-0 two, two on me in the lane. And at that point, there's no point in me fighting back. She's already that far ahead, and she just hyper outscales us. So, Thank goodness, thank freaking goodness we had this Camille. This Camille went so dummy thick ham. But honestly, if you look at the stats, boys, we all, like all of us, our whole team put in some work. And even their team, too. Like, Detalia did 24,000. We only dealt 3,000 less than her with, you know, as far ahead as she was. That was That's really good. Um, their team, 22,000 on the gin. And then this freaking Alistair, I do want to say, I think this Alistair might be, I think it was our Camille playing amazing. And then this Alistair trolling going full AP was probably the reason why they lost. Because there were so many fights in this game where we would just kill this guy right off the bat. We'd kill him, you know, super fast. And then basically the enemy team is left to 4v5 because he was so squishy. He was just full AP. And he, don't get me wrong. I remember that one time during the, the game when he hit me with a full combo. And it, all, it brought me down to like 25% HP. And I was like, what the hell was this damage? And I looked. I'm like, oh, okay, he's full AP. That makes sense. But um, yeah, good game. I think our jungler was complete ass. This guy, I stick by it. He had like good damage. I'll give him that. But his decision-making was terrible. He missed two smites that he should have had on the dragons. Gave the enemy team, like they're, they definitely had a win con. Like if it wasn't for this Camille going... Like I said, absolutely ham. We would have lost this game for sure. But uh, but yeah, big shout out to my team, the the Tristana. I didn't see that last fight, but got a quadra kill there. Literally won us the game, um, probably in conjunction with 
this guy's fears and this this Soraka played out of her mind as well. I want to give a shout out. The only person I am not a fan of on this team was this Shaco. Like this guy did not contest objectives. He got a I think he got the void grubs, but there's multiple times where we were fighting. He just kind of stayed on the objective, didn't peel off. He you know sucked at the dragon pits. But uh, yeah, big shout out to the rest of my team. This is wrong. I think I I don't think I'm diamond four just yet because I'm in placement still. I don't think we're in diamond four. I think OPG. G is a little bit scuffed right now. I think we're still in placements, but we do have only one game played, so that is pretty good. But yeah, fellas, first game of the split, not too bad. I I don't know. I I might not write this item off just yet, right? Ludens is good. I think this is synergizes really well with Fizz if we're just not behind, right? I think we could have done a little bit more damage had we been able to trade more in lane with old Joseph Goldberg. But we got behind and we weren't able to do much. So I might give it a couple more games uh, worth this. But I do like the new rune legend of Ability Haste. Because instead of going Lucidity Boots, I can go that, you know, the Sork Boots, get a little bit extra damage. Pair that with um, the Lich Bane, you know what I mean? The Blackfire Torch. After my Zhonya's, I can go Crit Bloom. Or I could even technically go full Bravery and go Crit Bloom like third item, right? And just have insane damage but um but yeah fellas if you enjoyed that video drop a like if you're enjoying the content i really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button help push our content out to do other people helps us grow the community and, and get discovered and yeah stick around for the next video